I'm obviously not perfect, but uh, some things we can definitely work on. But um, going to the bye week, I think we feel good about ourselves and um, just got out of that slump of not playing good football or our style of football the last two weeks. So um, good to get that done tonight. So I'll take any questions you guys have. Talk about the decision to go to Zach. Yeah, I mean, that's as we uh, talk about it over and over, you guys heard me say that our guys will compete. And every position you know, gets evaluated. We feel like everyone has to compete for their job every week. And um, there's a lot of positions where we make some changes, and that just happened to be one of them this week. So going into it, we felt like he, uh, in the competition, especially over the last couple of weeks, we felt like he was, it was good um, enough to give him the, the starting spot because he deserved it. So first impression of, you know, just as you watched on the sideline, what what did you think of his performance? Yeah, I thought he did some really good things. Not happy about the pick that he threw. Um, thought he got a little greedy and tried to um, think too high of himself and tried to fit the ball in there. And it came right after he they he threw a bad one and they missed it. And so you got to get the ego down from him to go back to the same side and do the same type of thing. And well, he knew already coming off, but we can't make those type of mistakes. You know what I mean? And there's a few other things that we could do differently. And he, he himself could. could um, do better, but um, for what we recruited him to do, he came and did it. So, really pleased with the way he led the team, and he's keep competing, you know, keep competing, and, and uh, try to keep that spot. That's going to be the goal for for Zach and everyone else that's starting. If they want to hold on to their spot, they have to keep competing and uh, find a way to, to hold on to the starting role. Talk about the way the defense started that game and, and really gave you that edge to be able to, to build that lead. Yeah, I was pleased with the way the defense played for the most part. Um, second half, we just gave we gave way too many plays, and um, part of that was uh, the adjustments that that um, that Hawaii made. You know, Roto's a really good coach, and McDonald's a really good uh, quarterback, and they have some really good receivers, and so they were able to fit the ball in certain things and and scheme uh, some of our adjustments that we made. They they were able to make some plays and um, but you know it would have been nice to get out of those but um, I think for the most part it's a really explosive offense and just really pleased with the way our guys played and got some pressure on the quarterback you know and um, that's that's another thing that Zach could do better is not just run out of bounds maybe throw the ball away because the line don't appreciate getting it tapped to sack when he just runs out of bounds so anyways um, but back to the defense I thought they played well um, tackled better than we had the last couple weeks and um, I think the whole team prepared well, you know, so uh, some of the adjustments and the changes that we made in practice and schedule and everything paid off. And um, now going to the bye week, we have to make sure that we're ready to roll and keep this thing rolling for uh, Northern Illinois, our next opponent. So. One of those adjustments that you made on the defense side was going to a 30 front to begin the game. What made you go that direction to start this game? Uh, we've always had an odd front. I get Anyone that knows me is like, you know, just set on one front the whole time. So thought our personnel could do it in a, th a three-man rush. And we had some things um, with our scheme. We changed up a few things here and there. But um, yeah, I just thought that uh, we we're just trying to bait them into running the ball and um, thought we could handle the pass rush and um, our, and our, and stopping the run with the three-man front. Really pleased with the way the D-line played. And we had Corbin play a lot of different positions today. He played D-end, he played um, middle linebacker, outside backer, and, and that's a lot for a guy. It's a lot for a guy that, um, that you know, that, that, that we've asked him to do so many things, and it's hard, but uh, he's a guy that's always answered the challenge when we had him do that for all the different schemes that we come up with. Really, really professional. I mean, he was all about um, but the, about the team, and um, can't say he was happy, you know. But um, I didn't expect him to be happy with the, with the decision. But uh, I thought he handled it really well and was very supportive of our team and supportive of Zach. If you watch Zach in the, during the game, um, Tanner was always involved, talking to him, and some of the other quarterbacks. I was just really pleased with how um, how much of a team guy he was, he was and, and he showed all week. Yeah, and then that's still a competition. Jaron Hall's right there too, so um, 
Yeah, we'll see when the depth chart comes up. I'm pretty sure there may, might be some more ores out there. I don't know. Yeah. They have to compete still next week and the week after that. Did you get the desired sparking from the other guys? Sorry, you have to repeat it because I'm trying to listen to make sure that I'm safe right now. So I'm, I'm, I'm concerned about your, our health, all of us. Are we okay, Brett? Yeah. All right, so sorry. Well, go ahead. The other guys seem to play better. May I have your attention, in there? Just May I have your attention, A fire has been reported. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what the, the maybe from the your perspective, that's a, I, I just think that our offense played a lot better. We were more sound up front. I thought we got some knock, knock off on, on, on the line of scrimmage on both sides, you know. And we weren't playing physical enough as a team. And, um, and that that was the goal to be a phys more physical team. And I don't know what the you know from what you're seeing, but um, there's a lot of reasons why we performed well today. And um, I think the main one for what we're trying to just go back to what we're what our identity is. I think I mentioned this last week. Is like we haven't had an identity. We got away from it. We have to stay with what we, who we are, and that's a physical football team. And we can be physical and spread. The shotgun, we can be physical with the three man front on defense. We can we can accomplish a lot as long as our guys buy into the physical part of the thing. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> we're safe, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, it's nothing that we're in danger about here. Yeah, I've got some other players. We can go outside. It's just as noisy outside. outside. What do you guys want to do? Fire has been recorded in the building. How about these guys? You're not some the this. Yeah. You guys probably want to just stay here. It's up for you. It's just as noisy. I'm going to go shower. to us, you know, a chip on our shoulder, and that's how you got to play on defense, you know, in the past there's been times where you think, oh, okay, we're okay, or, you know, but like I said, you can't play defensively, you got to, you got to have a hunger to you, and so it was amazing to see all the guys respond to that. Do not use the elevator. How big was this? You were an explosive offense, but you guys got out there and shut them down, held them to three points, and how big was that for this defense? I think that was huge, because, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, it's a lot like Utah State's offense, just high power. And how do you respond to that? And so for us to come out and do our thing and respond the way we did was amazing. May I have your attention, please? I see, is this kind of bounce back before what you guys wanted to have? A fire has been recorded Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I think uh, <laughs> Corbin's laughing because he's like, he knows I'm nervous. <laughs> he's like, this is my first time. <laughs> No, I mean, we had talked, you know, obviously losing two weeks in a row is not what we wanted. Um, and so we really knew that we needed to play a game, a complete game on offense, special teams, and on defense. And so this was uh, really what we had prepared for. This is what we wanted to do was just come out, um, play a, a solid game in all three phases, and, and get a win. So. As a, you'll probably grade it more on film later, what do you think of Corbin's uh, linebacking ability? Um, Man, out of ten, I'd probably give him like maybe a six and a half. Or so. <laughs> I'd say a solid four. <laughs> no, no, I, no. He was a, he was absolutely, you know, he's a, he's an animal. I mean, you, you really, you can't judge the way this man plays. Um, you know, he's a stud, really. That's a, that's all really I can say. He's just, he's just a stud. Um, we, we use him in a lot of positions. He played like what three, maybe tonight, defensive end. Uh, middle linebacker and outside linebacker and so to be able to, to really you know hone in and focus on those positions and, and play like he did um, that just shows the type of ball player that he is. Corbin Corny said he was wanting to get back to being a physical team. What about this week got you guys back to that style? I think everyone just 
you know, it's one thing to talk about it, but you can't really coach physicality. You can tell someone you got to be physical, you got to be physical, but it's all about just bringing it. And so everyone's got to find that fight and that fire. And it was it was cool because before the game, you could see everyone in their eyes. They had it. You know, everyone had that. And so it was just everyone kind of had to turn it on themselves. Do you think that fire you talked about came from just the quarterback switch and just having more of a spotlight on this game? Um, and no, I think it just it had nothing to do with, you know, what Hawaii did or anything in specific. I think just every guy responded. You know, it was a personal thing that they took upon themselves. I say, how big of a difference though was it to be able to take advantage of those stops that you guys got and have a lead to be able to play maybe a little bit more loose, a little more free? Yeah, that was huge. Um, I think that when the, when the offense is rolling like that and it kind of takes some pressure off the defense, I think we, we play more free, we make a lot more plays um, just because we can kind of, you know, gamble or take, take some risks that I don't think we usually would take if it was a, a tighter game, but... Um, to be able to have the offense, you know, put us in that position, it helped a ton. Okay. All right, thank you. Sweet. Woo. Good job, buddy. Man. Yeah. Okay, I, I interviewed with you like last week. I told you. I, you must have interviewed Ty. He's I, get, I get nervous. He's the best. You, you made great. Get used to it. Thank you, guys. You make him play, and you'll get used to it. Yeah. <laughs> You guys don't have at the moment. Fire moment. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. That little nerve wracking for you guys. Leslie, no. <laughs> Zach, take us through the process when you found out you were going to start. What that was like to 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 know that you know you get got this opportunity. Um, I think every day just be grateful for for what you have, and I trust the coaches and everything they do. And I was just grateful for the opportunity and tried to make the most of it. And you know, luckily I have a lot of help from my teammates. Uh, you know, everyone knows a quarterback can't be successful without a, a good line or good receivers or shoot even a good scheme. So um, I think everything was in place tonight. When did they let you know, and what was your week like? Assuming you had a few days to think about. Um, they let me know that that next week of practice and. Um, you know, we just we kind of tried to switch our mindset a little bit, and, and it wasn't necessarily because I was coming in, but just because we knew, we knew the offense had to had to make a big step, and I think we did all around. I think the line took everything personal with us, you know, losing games and or just not playing well on offense, and I think uh, we did a good job adjusting throughout practice. What did you see in that regard? Because you guys were pretty frustrated with how the last couple of weeks have gone. You talked on Monday about how things were going to change. What what did you see? Yeah, I mean, I just saw a lot more confidence, a lot more drive, and understanding what we actually needed to get done. I think uh, a lot of people from the outside look at it as, you know, what uh, what we were doing wrong, but more in effect with the way that we looked at it on the inside is what we just needed to do some more of. And, uh, you know, we got absolute grinders, and no matter who's in the game, and, you know, and we obviously saw that tonight. We spread the ball around, and um, we made things happen. And so this team has a, uh, a lot of potential, and we're just going to continue to keep keep going up and up. Dylan, what were your emotions facing your former team tonight? Uh, you know, it's, I, you could say it's like the second time I've done it. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, you know, really I just kind of needed to focus on what we needed to achieve as a team. And so that really uh, kind of subdued the, the feeling of what, you know, I needed to achieve in terms of trying to prove something to, to my old team. And that's not really what it was about. It was more so about how I could, you know, contribute and keep things, keep things rolling. Dylan, Zach said that the quarterback's only as good as his teammates and his receivers in particular that he's throwing the ball to. Do you feel like you guys kind of bounce back from the last couple of weeks? And I know you haven't been very happy with it a lot of your Yeah, no, absolutely. And I think that's a, this is a good place to start. You know, are we perfect? Are we where we want to be? Absolutely not. But, you know, we're, we're like I said before, we're on the up and up, and that's what's most important. And uh, this bye week's going to be really good because we're going to be able to take a look at it and see what else we need to do so that these, you know, next next six games that we got left can be handled in, in a way that we know we can. Dylan, how big was the defensive performance? They came out and held them to three points. That's a good offense. And the way they did that to allow kind of the offense to have opportunities to build the lead. I mean, I can't, I can't tell you enough how impressive and uh, especially, you know, yes, the front seven and those guys did a really good job. But, you know, our defensive backs, especially the young guys, the way that they were the – the way that they were able to contain those receivers because, you know, that's a very, very talented, talented group of receivers. And our guys did a phenomenal job of locking them up. And uh, so, you know, that our defense is, is very exciting to watch. It's my favorite defense in the country. So 
I like it. I like it. Zach, what was your preparation like specifically leading up to your first <coughs> start? Anything change leading up throughout the week? Could you go into depth on that? Um, to be honest, I mean, you should you should approach every game like you're going to start and. I think I, I kind of approach this week exactly how I had every other week, just in case the opportunity presents itself. You always got to be ready. Um, I think I did spend more time trying to connect with my receivers, talking to everybody, just making sure we're on the same page with stuff. And uh, I think that's where my preparation switched a little bit. But as far as, you know, in the film room and, and going through my certain things I like to do to prepare, I think it was about the same as every other week. So you said you got a little too greedy on the pick after almost oh. on the pick. For sure. I mean, ask these guys how many times I told them if the corner opens his eyes, I'm going to throw the hitch. And <coughs> he, he did that, and I did through the corner. So <coughs> don't do that. <laughs> Dylan, your preparation as far as, you know, with a new quarterback, you guys have probably heard the news early on in the week. Did you change your preparation at all? And no. I mean, really, there's uh, I, I kind of pride myself on being able to prepare the same way, and I've done it for the last four years. And so... Um, really just the opportunity to continue to have conversations with Zach. It's not like just because Zach was now named the starter, now it was time to have conversations with him. <laughs> um, the kid's extremely confident and, and willing to have those, you know, discussions during the week whether he knew that he was going to start or not. And so, um, you know, nothing, nothing changed for us. It was just a matter of what we were going to do to capitalize on opportunities and, and make up for what's been missing the last few weeks. Dylan, before you obviously look at the film, what was your, what was your thoughts on, on Zach's performance tonight? I mean, uh, 49 points. That's pretty dang good for for an 18 year old kid to come in and um, play as confident and to to be as confident as he was. I don't, you know, I to be honest with you, I don't think a lot of kids could do it. And so Zach did it, and he's going to continue to do it because I know that his preparation will continue to stay the same. Like he said, I can completely attest to the fact that the kid did exactly what he said he did, and he's done it since the week one. And so you know, I, I have a lot of faith in him and. I know that you know everyone else does, and we're going to keep keep this thing going. Zach, talk about your interactions with Tanner. You've been on the other side where you were the backup and he was the starter, and when it flipped, what was that like? Yeah, I mean we have nothing but love for each other. I mean we're both roommates, and we help each other out with anything. And you know it's always a tough spot to be put in that situation. And and it went the same way with me in, in the beginning. But I mean we, we kind of separate life life from football, and you know we realize there's no reason to be mad or hate or, or whatever it is either way and, and we all we always just want what's best for the team and I think Tanner's you know one of my biggest supporters and, and I am to him as well and I think uh, I think we have a good good friendship and I think that you know we help each other out with a lot of things. Zach how does it feel to be a freshman have this big spotlight on you? I don't really think age matters to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I guess you, I don't know, I guess, I mean, football's a game we've all played since we were little, and uh, I try and approach it like it's the same game I've played since I was little. No matter what level it is or how many people are watching, it's, it's still the same thing we've, we've been doing since we were little, so. Okay, thanks, guys. I appreciate it. What's that? You're representing offense and defense? That's how this works? Uh, well, sure, we say that. <laughs>